beautiful friends and welcome back to another what I eat in a day video this morning for breakfast I was making pancakes so I was starting with a quarter cup of buckwheat flour as well as one teaspoon of baking soda I mixed this all together and then added in one mashed banana followed by one flax egg one quarter of a cup of rice malt syrup and a splash of vanilla I also added in a quarter cup of almond milk but once I started mixing this I realized that the mixture was a bit dry so I added in another quarter cup of almond milk and it made the mixture the absolute perfect consistency once that was all done I got a pan and put it over the heat and added in some Nadalex to grease Nadalex is an Australian based vegan butter alternative basically then I'm cooking the pancakes and as you can see they are an amazing amazing consistency these are probably the best pancakes I've ever made from home super fluffy super dense super full of flavor can't complain I put four of these onto a plate because the mixture made four and then served it with a fresh banana that I chopped up as well as some chocolate sauce that I made from water, cocoa powder and rice malt syrup. I also added on top some granola which I made from home and that was my breakfast. These pancakes were super delicious as you can see. I am definitely craving them watching this back and yeah, can't wait to make them again. That is for sure. Moving on to lunch and I am starting with a can of black beans, which I am washing. Black beans are my favorite legume, if you guys couldn't tell already. I'm popping these into a pan with some olive oil and heating them and also adding some salt for flavor and mixing them all together. Then I'm making like a, I don't know what you would call it, like a pico de gallo sort of like fresh salsa mix with one fresh tomato which I chopped up as well as one bunch of spring onion which is my favorite I swear I could just like eat spring onion straight which is probably very bizarre I also used some fresh corn off the cob as well as a handful of spinach which I chopped up into really small pieces and then yeah I pop this into all into a bowl together and mix it together and it's like a really nice fresh mix to add to Mexican food or any food really I had some of this with some mashed potato last night so there you go then I'm putting three white corn tortillas into the oven to toast them and once they are done I served them on a plate here sorry Lakin for the plate I do apologize and I'm using some of the fresh mix that I made as well as some black beans on top and because I'm super weird I also added barbecue sauce on top barbecue sauce goes with absolutely everything in my opinion and yeah these tacos were super nice super fresh and a, a great way to enjoy my lunch moving on to dinner and i am starting with a pan over the heat with some olive oil in and then i'm using just some stir fried vegetables i haven't used ones like these before but demi and ollie recommended them and honestly super easy super cheap i also added in some frozen peas and corn and basically just fried this up then i put in some thick rice noodles which i had left boiling on the side mix that all together then I also added in some tamari mix that all together and then of course added in some sesame seeds for some extra crunch I love sesame seeds on basically all of my savory food and yeah I mix this all together this is a dinner that I haven't had very often but I really really enjoyed this like really good way to get the veggies in was super simple super tasty super easy to make and yeah as you can see I enjoyed this big bowl it was super super delicious thanks for watching and i hope you have a beautiful day